if you're having trouble finding a Sparky to be friends with, just go down to your local pub, look for people in high vis or work clothes, and just yell out, who's the smartest tradesman of them all? Who's the best? Who's the, you know, they'll do, they, there's a lot of cockheads out there. They'll present their hand. They're all fucking Sparkies. We're sitting here. Like, yeah, sweet. Come here, mate. I want you to fucking do a bit of work for me. Sorted. G'day mates, be making earth straps at work, it's a shit job but somebody's got to do it and uh, short straw drawn, Strip the bits. No, monotonous shit, Take some heat drink. And a lot of repetitive, crimp and cut and crimp and cut, I went ahead and let the smoke clean out of one of the crimpers at work so you know finish the day early not going to make any more of these 7,000 earth straps we've been making. So I decided to come home and what do you do when you're not getting paid to do work? You go home and do work. Today's project, we're going to be working on my bore for my retic. Currently it's just on the old switch in the meter box. It's not very good, you have to remember to turn it on, you know, program. But uh, you forget your lawn dies, no good. So, jumped on eBay and got this. This was uh, 50 bucks. I've never heard of this brand before. Nixon, a little bit skeptical. Uh, <clears throat> the breaker, what's well, a relay, time switch, whatever you want to call it. Now, this time switch, it was really cheap, 50 bucks. It is a no name brand. From all my research, all I can see is pretty much these guys and what I might be wrong what looks to be like them under another name trading selling them as well it's not in stores from what I can see it's an online only type thing so I dare say they're just ordering them off a company and getting their logo thrown on them they do offer a lot of rah 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 you know money back guarantees and it is certified to Australian standards so that does stand for something they got the certification you got to be able to trust that at least it's not going to blow my house up or burn it down. So this is rated to switch 16 amps. So that theoretically should be right about enough for my bore. It's not the hugest, biggest bore in the world. However, I'm going to couple it with this contactor. So instead of running the motor straight in here, I'm going to go through this contactor. This is good for 20 amps and I trust this is switching power. But I'm willing to give this a go because we're, we're talking a lot cheaper than to find. This isn't just your regular old, I've got access to quite a few timers, but 24 hour. Most processes, most logics, you know, you're not trying to program something to come on once every week or so, rah, rah, rah. You, you want it, your process is going to be a lot shorter than that. So when you start jumping out into this level, it gets very expensive for a name brand. You, your Schneider, your NHP, whoever, Clipsal, or Clipsal is Schneider. Regardless, it's gonna cost big, big dollars. This is just to run my bore. Well, I could go down and just get your little, little retick box, but then you have to fuck around with solenoids and stuff, and my retick circuit is big enough that the bore comes on, stuff gets watered, job done. I don't have to have stations, I don't, wanna, I don't have solenoids. It's just not that big of a job, it's not needed. So I'm gonna have the timer. I'm gonna use my own contactor next to it. So all this is doing is switching the, the inputs to this. Theoretically that should hold it. Might hold it off from welding shut in the near future. Then I'm gonna put another breaker after it. So the feed to this is gonna be protected already in the board. I'm gonna run that feed just through here, rah, 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 boom, out there, done. Should be simple enough. I've got a very old board built back in the 80s. I can just fit another enclosure in there. So as opposed to rewiring the whole board this time, voila, should fit, should be easy. We'll see how it goes.
in and I was expecting something on the screen straight away but it's clearly dead as a doorknob not, not very happy about this at all hopefully if I just uh, the buttons some something might jog it to life Four times out of ten when there's a problem like this it, it, it is as opposed to the the equipment being dead on arrival but as I said I haven't used this brand before I've got I've got two I've got the 240 there at it so it's got power to the unit I'll just check check my other wiring yeah my constant supply feed that yep yeah, there's 240 there um hmm just in case of stuff I'm wiring up but I can't think of any way that I would have ruined that um, I'm stuck I, I, I think she's rooted I really think that I've got a fucking bum steer here and I've just gone and installed all this I should have bench tested it I really should have bench tested it in the workshop before I even brought it out here I feel like I wasted my afternoon um Never problem too too big or too small though. Sometimes on these contactors, there's well, it's normally the bigger contactors, but you can manually push them in and force them over. I guess I'll have to just bridge this out with a bit of wire. Uh, not recommended to do this, but we'll see it function. If if I put it on the top of the coil, we'll definitely see it function. Make sure my hands are clear. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pulled that's pulled straight in. You can hear it in the background. What a piece of shit. Dead on arrival block. I have the biggest habit and the biggest knack for just choosing the most utmost turds. If there's a faulty one, oh I've got it. I've chosen it. Everyone else gets a good one. Turd. Alright, as always, <laughs> as always is the case, my bad, there's a small little reset button, and uh, it's right there, glaring in front of me the whole time. I don't know, transport, whatever. I just had to hold that in for a second or two, and uh, she came alive. So I've been stuffing around with the program, and it was a little bit confusing at first, but now that I've worked it out, it seems so simple. Pretty much. <clears throat> pretty much all i got to do is you set the time, then you choose a program, you set an on and an off. I've chosen 5 and 502 just as a practice run. It's coming up soon. Once you've done that, you've got the option of up to 16 different programs. And you can choose different days, days of the week different sets of the days it's, it's quite customizable you can have alternating days on one program or you can choose a day per program you can have multiple programs per day if you can pretty much do whatever you want with it it's quite impressive um, I'm after my test runs and I'm confident with it I'm just gonna set it for two days a week keeps the grass quite clean otherwise I have to mow it too bloody much but after all of that, raging success. I'm pretty happy with this, so only time will tell whether it holds up. 